Hello. In this video, I'm going to summarize the basic economic evaluation problems and I will explain how to approach each one. When facing a problem, we have to ask these five main questions. How much money is given? When is the money given? Where on the timeline? Uh, what is the time period? Year, quarter or month? What is the interest rate? what needs to be calculated the next step in approaching the problem is to draw the timeline here as you can see the horizontal line represents the time the left hand end shows the present time and right hand end shows the future numbers below the line 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and n are time periods now let's add the variables p on the left hand side is the present single sum of money at time zero this is the amount of money that is received or paid at the present time at time zero at year zero or month zero we could also write it uh, write this p above the time zero it would be the same the other variable is F, which is the future sum of money at the end of the period N. This is the amount of money that is received or paid in the future, in the end of the end period, end year, end month. We uh, could also write, write it above the, the end year, it's the same. The other parameter is A. Above each time period, starting from year 1 to year N, there is an A, which are called uniform series of equal payments at each compounding period. These A's show the money that is occurred, that is paid or received in those time periods. Here we assume all of them are equal payments. When we face a problem, we just need to use the proper equation to solve it. And the next step is to figure out what type of problem we have. Based on given and unknown variables, there are six main categories of problems. In first category, P, money paid or received at the present time, is given and F, future value of that amount, needs to be calculated. Second category, F is given and P needs to be calculated. In, in third category, F needs to be calculated from given A, uniform and equal series of payments. In fourth category, A needs to be calculated from given F. Fifth category, P, present value, needs to be calculated from given A. And in sixth category, a needs to be calculated from given P. Note that in each type, we have only two money variables. You can see these six categories in this table. The first column shows the unknown variable, the variable that needs to be calculated. The second column shows the given variable. And the third column shows the appropriate factor. Factor is just a notation a symbol to summarize the problem the slash sign is not a division operator the first letter on the left hand side of of the slash sign shows the variable that needs to be calculated and the second letter on the right hand side of the slash sign shows the given variable the two subscripts on each factor are period interest rate i followed by the number of interest compounding period n. 